the guy who actually tamed electricity way before Edison or Tesla were even born. This dude wasn't just another scientist. He was the reason we have electric motors, generators, and even the ability to generate power on an industrial scale. Buckle up, science lovers, because today we're diving into the shocking story of the man who unlocked the secrets of electromagnetism. Michael Faraday. Picture this. You're a poor kid in London, born in 1791. No fancy education, no access to high-tech labs, nothing. That was Michael Faraday. He was a bookbinder's apprentice, meaning his job was literally just folding and stitching pages all day. But, and this is a big but, he used that job to read every science book he could get his hands on. Talk about a level 100 brain upgrade, using nothing but sheer curiosity. Fast forward to the experiment that changed the world. Scientists back then knew about electricity and magnetism, but nobody could figure out how to turn one into the other. Until Faraday came along with his legendary experiment. He discovered electromagnetic induction, which is just a fancy way of saying, if you move a magnet through a coil of wire, it generates electricity. That's right, my scientific minions. This experiment is the reason your phone chores, why power plants work, and why we have the modern electrical grid. He basically cracked the ultimate science hack for generating energy. And he built the first working electric motor. Just a simple spinning wire in a magnetic field, but from this humble beginning came every single electric engine, from fans to factory machines to rocket thrusters. The guy basically kickstarted the entire field of electromagnetism. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Wait, isn't Tesla the king of electricity? Listen up, you Stone Age simpletons. Tesla and Edison were electrical engineers who took Faraday's discoveries and applied them to real-world tech. And although Tesla is one of if not my favorite scientists, without Faraday's laws of electromagnetism, which would later be explained in mathematical language by Maxwell's equations, none of their inventions would have been possible. This guy built the scientific foundation for modern electrical engineering, and he did it with almost no formal education. That's some next-level scientific domination. If you enjoyed this electrifying lesson, hit that like button and subscribe for more science-packed videos. And remember, it's 10 billion percent science.